Hi guys B Tech here. Today I'm going to upgrade this Dell G5 SE laptop's thermal paste to liquid metal. You might know this laptop is very prone to overheat. Before we start can you guys help me by subscribing to my channel? Thank you. For this specific laptop it's pretty easy to change thermal paste. First you have to remove the back panel. Then to remove the heat pipes you have to remove the screws in reverse order. But remember to unplug the battery first. So this is the liquid metal I'm going to apply on the laptop. This cost me around $10 on eBay. So not bad for the money. This includes couple of alcohol pads and a brush to apply it. After removing the heat pipes you have to clean off the existing thermal paste from CPU and GPU dyes. For that I'm going to use a nanofiber cloth. Clean it till most of the thermal paste is gone. Specially you have to remove all the thermal paste from the dye. Now I'm going to put some electrical tape between the die to prevent any liquid metal leaking to the motherboard, cause liquid metal is highly conductive and if it leaks, it won't be any good. Now I will clean up the heatsink as well. You need to apply liquid metal on this too. Just don't apply a large amount of liquid metal on this. Just little amount is enough to make contact with the CPU and GPU dyes. To apply liquid metal you just need a tiny amount of it. Just squeeze the syringe a little and spread around that on both CPU and GPU dies. You have to do this very carefully, and do not spill any of it on the motherboard. Now I will apply little amount on the heatsink as well.
Now to screw the heatsink to the motherboard you have to do it now in forward order. Now I will put the back panel as well. This is a quick update after one month of use. As you can see I have to cut down the electrical tape to make better contact with heatsink. And also you have to remember that around in six months you will have to reapply liquid metal little bit since some of it will soak into the copper of heatsink. So first, I'm going to run a benchmark on default GPU settings. If you want to know how to unlock AMD laptop GPU drivers, click on this pop-up button. To measure the temperatures I'm gonna use MSI Afterburner. So let's start the game. Whole test here, going to keep at 1080p original settings. Let's start the benchmark. As you can see the CPU temperature before and after both are same. But CPU is now using much higher wattage compared to previous run. And also now GPU is 3 degrees cooler even though CPU is using more power. Now I will undervault my GPU. This I've already undervaulted presets, so I'm going to apply it now and let's see how it will perform. In this you can see the same thing as previous run, but undervolting will give better performance on same temperature. Now I will up the power limit on the GPU to plus 15%. Now you can see much bigger difference. On the regular pace the GPU is on throttling limit, which is 91 degrees. But after upgrading it to liquid metal it's in 86 degrees. Now in the turbo mode the unregular thermal paste it's instantly jumps to 102 degrees. But after upgrading to liquid metal it's in mid 90s while consuming more power. Now the restriction is back panel. Also I forgot to up the TDP on GPU on regular thermal paste test system, but in liquid metal system it on 90 watts. But it's still on same temperature as 80 watt. So that's it for this video. If you find this video useful please help me by subscribing.